Hello everyone, how are you doing today? I'm here with a different laptop and this one is an HP ProBook G3. Uh, what are we going to do in here? Uh, we're going to upgrade the hard drive to an SSD drive. So first thing first, you want to flip over your laptop and you want to remove the battery just by pulling this trigger apart and this one right here. So both of them apart and then slide down the battery. Uh, the only screw that you're gonna be removing is this one right here and the screw will not come out It has a C lock on the other side, so it will prevent it from coming out So you just have to rotate until you hear the click or just rotate for a while and then stop So I'm gonna rotate You see you hit that click that's when you know to stop and then once you have that screw up, there's a spring right in it, so it will keep it up, so it won't go back down. And then you want to grab your hand right here, and you want to pull this one towards the front of the... It's a sliding cover, so slide it down towards yourself, or in front of the laptop, and it will come up. Don't try to lift it up, otherwise you're going to break the leggings right there. All right, once you have it up here, right up to here, the mechanical drive is right here and to remove the mechanical drive they actually marked it for you one right there the marker is right there second one third one and the fourth one so we're gonna remove these screws if you have a magnet you can just lift it out it's much faster The screws are the same size, so don't worry about mismatching them. Next, you want to slide the hard drive. And you want to see a gap opening on the connector. And then you want to lift it up. As you can see, this one is an uh, HGST, which is a Western Digital company. Because they bought the, this brand, so it belongs to a Western Digital. And this one is a 500 gig, I believe, or one terabyte. It's not actually saying it, so I'm just gonna assume. It says 5,400 RPM and one terabyte. And it uses a SATA 6.0 gigabyte per second. So it's on a SATA port, which is right here, it shows. 500, 5,400 RPM, one terabyte. This is a low profile hard drive. So you can only put a low profile, you can't put a thicker profile hard drive in here. And thanks God, the, all the SSD drives, they are always low profile. So you're going to grab your SSD drive and your mechanical drive that you pulled out. You want to remove the four screws that hold the caddy in place. The two in here and two on the other side. If you wonder why my fingernails are, my fingers are dirty, it's because I was working on my car earlier today and I can't get the grease off, so yeah. So once you remove the hard drive from the caddy, in the same position, you want to put down the SSD drive. Once you have it in there, you're going to put the four screws. And in this case, I'm not going to upgrade, so I'm just going to show it up to here. And let's just imagine that one is this one. I'm gonna put it right there and put the screws back in. Because the client does not wanna doesn't wanna upgrade the mechanical drive to an SSD drive. He actually prefers to do something else, which is alright. All right, now once you have the caddy on the new drive in, so SSD drive or another mechanical drive, doesn't matter. You want to put it back, put back the other side. Do you see this hinge right here? You want to slide that underneath first. So you have this gap right here and then you want to pull towards the connector. And make sure the holes for the screws, they are aligned. 
And the last thing for this one is to put the four screws on the caddy. The screws are all the same size, so don't worry about mismatching them. I just took it out to double check. Uh, yes, they're all the same size, so don't worry about it. And the last thing is to grab the bottom cover, put it back down with an offset, and then slide the cover back towards the battery side. And put the bottom screw back in. And the last thing, put the battery in, slide it down, and you're all set. Alright guys, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in my next video.